I promise that I shall continue to love and take care of her. Take care of Melissa with my whole heart for you and give her the best that I can provide for her. For sure, I know that Melissa has her own super guardian angel watching over her now. Indeed. For this, God is our God forever and ever, and he will be our guide even to the end. I truly believe that our mighty God guided you through your journey on this earth until the very end, Janet. I love you, and I will miss you forever until we meet again, Dorula. Rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you. Maggie, don't go. Don't go. You're next. You're next. Stand by. To my dearest sister Janet, it breaks my heart to have to say goodbye to you so soon. I thought we would have more time, more days to spend together playing with our children, and more evenings spent together talking and laughing late into the night. But this was not to be. I will always be eternally grateful for the time that we did have together, from our time as children, getting up to all sorts of mischief, from concocting stories to get out of going to nursery school, to efforts to create makeshift swimming pools, including swimming in our pond with the ducks and tadpoles, to pretending that our younger sister Patricia was a client visiting our salon and giving her unsolicited manicures and pedicures. I will treasure the moments we spent as teenagers at home dashing to secure the best chair in the living room as we watched television and how you would always prepare something to eat and share it with me and my younger sisters, often leaving you with very little, if anything at all, to eat. But you would never complain. You would simply get up, go back to the kitchen and make another snack, only for the same thing to happen again. I will cherish the memory of hours spent on the beach, taking photos, playing in the sea and burying each other in the sand. I will delight in the memories of us singing together as you played along on the piano or guitar. Janet, even when times were hard, you always found it within you to express love and care for me. I will miss you so much, but I take comfort in the joyful memories I have of you and that you are now resting and at peace. Until we meet again, I will carry the sound of your laughter in my heart. My coffee, Janet. My coffee. We'll give you my coffee. I'll treat you next. Don't go. Don't go. Maggie, don't go off. Stand by Patricia. Come and stand by. Just before I begin my tribute, um, I would like to let everyone know, Janet, whenever she prayed, she always prayed the most beautiful prayers. I also just want to take this opportunity to thank Janet for introducing me and showing me to Pastor Joel Austin. And every time I listen to his sermons, I will always remember her. To my dearest darling sister Janet, a.k.a. Daniela, you are and always have been the shining light in every room, the joy of every party and family gathering, and the charismatic and funny person that can make everyone laugh anywhere and at any time. I remember especially when we were younger, you were the one who would make Daddy laugh the, laugh the hardest and the most. I will miss how sharp you were and how good you were at judging people's character, always protecting every single one of us. As one of the youngest, whenever I felt as though no one understood me, you always made me feel heard and understood. Always on my side, no matter what. You were always so forgiving and quick to get over arguments, making sure everyone was okay and included in all the fun things you would organize and arrange. You never forgot a single birthday. Your creativity 